The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, a classic among all gamers. As a Zelda game, it's often considered the greatest game of all time, but what puts Majora's Mask above the rest? Majora's Mask was in development for only a single year. After director IG Aonuma, IG Aonuma, I, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, complained about being forced to develop Master Quest, a spin-off of Ocarina of Time, Miyamoto gave him an ultimatum. If he could develop a new Zelda title in only one year, then he wouldn't have to develop Master Quest. Anuma lived up to this demand and created Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask is often considered the darkest Zelda game, and no, not just in lighting, stupid freaking race, of course you want, I have no idea where I'm going. Anyways, it focused a lot more on adult themes, mostly dealing with the stages of grief and the impending doom of a giant fucking moon murdering everyone you ever loved. Pleasant. As far as game's aesthetic goes, it's nothing too amazing actually. Due to the short development cycle, they lifted almost all the character models from Ocarina of Time. That being said, there still has some very interesting locations. Although you have your average swamp, mountain, beach locations, the fourth area, the stone tower, has very interesting design to it. And the entire Ikana Canyon is very haunting and has great atmosphere. Actually, the atmosphere is by far the thing the game does best. Most of the game's life though comes from the characters in the central city, Clock Town. Gameplay wise, it's very standard for a Zelda game. The combat's simple, shield, stab, shield, get hit, damn it. But the cool part is in the different masks. There are 26 masks in total. The, they have variety in different effects from walking faster to marching along to spontaneous combustion. And then there are the four transformation masks. These allow you to transform into Deku, a Goron, a Zora, or God Slain Beast. No, seriously, if you collect all the masks, you get the Great Deity Mask, which allows you to just slaughter all of the bosses. The real reason, however, that Majora's Mask has such great critical acclaim is its story. The story took a much darker turn than many were expecting, especially for a Nintendo game. Although there are many themes, most of it keeps on coming back to the idea of death. The entire town is on a countdown till the moon inevitably crashes down, killing everyone. But even this aside, Link seems to run into death everywhere he goes. Every transformation mask you receive represents someone who has died, whether it be someone's son, someone's father, or even someone's lover. The different areas of the game represent different stages of grief. The townspeople of Clock Town represent denial. The angry scrubs trying to burn a monkey at the stake represents anger. The deceased Goron trying to make a deal with you to bring him back to life represents bargaining. The saddened Lulu represents depression. And the Akana Canyon finally represents acceptance. The whole game is drenched in symbolism and recurring theme. However, the game really shines with its character moments found throughout the side quests. The most powerful moments are allowing the chicken farmer to see his chickens grow up before death or reuniting lovers in their last seconds to die in each other's arms. Or a little girl who gets to drink the adult milk because, well, this is her last day. The characters have these very real, unique ways of dealing with death, and that's really where this game shines. One of the greatest things to do is to walk around on the final day and just talk to the townspeople, hearing what they have to say. It really gives this game a haunting, dark feeling that really separates it from the rest. Majora's Mask's darker theme really brings a lot to the table, creating a greater experience for story-driven gamers over other Zelda games. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, and if you want to say anything, just leave a comment down below. And if you want to see more videos, just click the annotation right here. Thank you for watching.